In this sample demo, I'm going to show how to create a coffee mug using Tinkercad. Now to get started, we just need to start with our basic shape. So I'm going to grab a cylinder and using the boxes in the corners of the shapes here, I'm just going to drag and scale it up a bit to a proportion that I like. I'm going to make mine a little bit taller here. Now, of course, we need to actually hollow out the cylinder. So I'm going to grab a second cylinder. This one's the hole function here. And again, I'm just going to scale it up and actually make it taller than the original. It's also important that we don't want to cut all the way through the bottom. So I'm actually going to raise this inner cylinder up off the work plane here so that way we don't cut through our coffee mug. Now I need to center these cylinders together. So I'm just going to select both the whole cylinder and the orange outer cylinder and use my alignment tool to go ahead and align and center these shapes. Now I'm kind of getting a little close to the edge here, so I'm actually going to shrink down the whole cylinder slightly. And then using the align tool, I'm going to recenter the shapes together. Now if I were to go ahead and group these, it would cut kind of like a regular cut, but we're going for a coffee mug here. So I'm going to ungroup them and grab a torus and turn this into my handle. If I rotate this 90 degrees and kind of reorient this around, I can actually get this into position and kind of change the size to something I sort of like here. And boost this up, raise this. We need to make the handle a little bit bigger, not that big. Let's get this into something that we like working with here. And we're going to slide this into place for the coffee mug. Let me just slide this down. Again, just playing with the proportions to something that I like. Now, using the align tool, I'm going to make sure everything is centered in this direction. Of course, I don't want to center the handle because that would throw it into the middle of the coffee mug. And then I'm just going to select all three shapes and hit group. If I want to change the color of my coffee mug, I can check the solid box here. I can make it any color I'd like. If I want to do something like put uh, a letter or something on the side, I could grab my text function, maybe type a nice E here. I'm going to rotate this around. And I'm going to put this, where do we want this to go? I guess we'll put this on the side of the coffee mug here. Let me just rotate it again. And I'll make it not red, so it's a little bit easier to see. Boost this up. Get a little bit bigger. Too high, bring it back down here just a bit. And I can either make it kind of three dimensions sticking out, or I'm actually going to cut into the mug. Now, because my wall is so thin, if I'm not careful here, we'll have a hole in the side of the cup. And of course, that's not what you want. If you're actually going to put any type of liquid into this, I'm actually going to change my font here to something a little bit more basic as well. So there's not as many edges. And I'm just going to Kind of position this just so it doesn't cut into the coffee mug. Then I'm going to turn this into a hole and group everything together and I will in fact etch an E into the side of my coffee mug. 